Hi, this is Nancy with Redleaf DigiScrapping. Thanks for joining me. In this tutorial, you'll learn a really quick and easy way to make the colors in your photographs really come alive. The tutorial is being done in Photoshop Element 6, but the same steps will work in any version of Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. This is the photograph that we're going to work with, and it's a nice enough photograph, it's nicely composed, but I want to give it a little bit more life and really make those colors come alive. So the first thing I'm going to do is, over in the Layers palette, I'm going to duplicate the layer. So right-click on that first background layer, click on Duplicate Layer, and when the dialog box pops up, I'm just going to leave Background Copy as the name of the layer and click on OK. And now I have two layers in the Layer palette. I'm going to work with the top layer, so make sure that that is highlighted just by clicking on it. And the first thing I'm going to do is change the blend mode. So where it says normal, click on the drop down arrow, and I'm going to change that blend mode to soft light. Now right away you can see how those colors just come alive and everything is a lot more green looking. The other thing that I want to do is come into the mountain area here and just bring in a little bit more contrast and definition in that area. So to do that, over in the toolbox, I'm going to come down to the sponge tool, click and hold, and the flyout menu will appear, and I'm going to select the burn tool. Now I want to use a soft brush, so I'm just going to click the drop down arrow to select a brush, and this one here will work. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than 300 pixels. Not quite that big. That should do. I'm going to leave the range at mid-tones and the exposure at 50%. And now still making sure that this second layer is selected. I'm going to come into the mountains here and just start painting over top of them with that brush. I'll do that two or three times. And you can see how the mountain is really starting to come in and we're getting some nice contrast and definition in there. So it's just popping out from that cloud a little bit more. Bring it in back here in the corner a little bit. And that's our finished photograph. So I'm just going to turn off that second layer for a moment just to show you the difference between the photo that we started with and what those couple of quick easy changes did for the photo. So there's the beginning photo. And that's the photo that we ended up with just by adding a soft light layer and burning in the mountains a little bit. For additional digital scrapbooking tutorials, or for more information on where you can purchase my digital scrapbooking products, visit www.redleafdigiscrapping.com. Thanks for joining me.